the toxicity of TikTok. It is a truth, universally acknowledged that the algorithm knows you better than you know yourself. Every second you hesitate or rewatch, the app is tracking you. Through this one powerful signal, TikTok learns your most hidden interests and emotions and drives you deep into rabbit holes of content that are hard to escape. The TikTok experience starts the same way for everyone. Open the app and you'll immediately see an endless string of videos in your feed. From these, it works to identify your interests. Did you know that an average TikTok user spends 95 minutes per day on the platform? That's over one and a half hours swiping through videos that range from three seconds to three minutes. Out of over 80 million monthly active users in the US, 60% are aged between 16 and 24. And around 40% of those aged between 6 to 12 use TikTok regularly. This means a lot of impressionable youth are consuming TikTok's content at an alarming rate worldwide. But does the platform have adequate filters in place to protect its users from potentially harmful content? ByteDance is known as the Chinese App Factory. In 2012, it famously launched 12 entertainment content apps in its first few months as a company. Launch of their first apps. One day, Jang had an epiphany. He noticed the decline in people reading newspapers and the sharp increase in phone usage, and deduced that we would soon get all our information from phones. And thus, ByteDance's next app was born. What is Tutiao about? In August 2012, ByteDance launched the first version of its news and content platform, which literally means today's headlines. That would become their core product. The idea of ByteDance's algorithm was simple, but at the time quite revolutionary. Only the things which all users care about can be the headlines, and the more they use the app, the more the algorithm warns about them. So, the more accurate the recommendations become. The result was very addicting and a huge success. The next step that ByteDance had to take was not just going to change the company, it was going to change the world. Zhang Yiming had realized why stop at news and information, so they took the same addictive algorithm from their headlines app and created a new app for short videos. Now, you all might be thinking this short video app is TikTok, and you're almost right. In 2017, they launched the international version of TikTok we all know. But in 2016, ByteDance launched Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok. Douyin looks almost identical to TikTok. However, ByteDance was smart to separate the app for China and the app for the rest of the world. What happens on Douyin excludes all of the content that is popular in America, Europe, or anywhere outside of China. Likewise, while watching content on TikTok, users are not able to see the videos happening on Douyin. Both apps are successful due to their algorithms that recommend content to their users on the For You page. These recommended videos pop up without the users liking or sharing the content. And these two apps are successful that long-form video sharing platforms like Netflix consider them major competition. A question arises, will TikTok be banned? Several countries have introduced a TikTok ban. TikTok's time in the spotlight hasn't been without controversy, and several countries have blocked the app in the past. Concerns over user privacy are loud in many nations, particularly in Europe, the United Kingdom, and the United States. And others have questioned the content available on the platform. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has alleged that TikTok users are at risk of their data ending up in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. In 2020, former U.S. President Donald Trump attempted to ban TikTok in America, eventually calling on ByteDance to sell the app to a U.S. company. However, the sale never took place. While not banned in Russia, TikTok has stopped new video uploads for Russian users due to the country's fake news law. But there are other countries where the app faces an official ban. India. Indian authorities clamped down heavily on Chinese apps in 2020 and banned TikTok among over 50 others in the summer of that year. Afghanistan. 
The Taliban took control of Afghanistan in the summer of 2021 and in early 2022 ordered a TikTok ban, raising alarm about the volume of information and its security. TikTok collects excessive amounts of data, according to a new analysis of its source code. TikTok asks for access to your videos, your photos, your microphone, your camera, and your contacts. TikTok also collects information about the messages that you send, the apps that you use, and the other apps on your phone. It collects the sites that you visit, it collects your search history, it collects your keystrokes, it collects your location data. But wait a minute, like other social media giants, TikTok gobbles up a lot of user information, so why was everyone freaking out? TikTok has consistently denied those claims, telling CNBC, we have never provided user data to the Chinese government, nor would we do so if asked. The TikTok app is not unique in the amount of information it collects. It collects information that users choose to provide and information that helps the app function, operate securely, and improve the user experience. TikTok is owned by Chinese multinational internet company ByteDance, but TikTok has clearly stated that they created a whole separate app in the company for TikTok that's not based in China. However, the new EU law will affect how companies use personal information and is slated to come into effect on May 25th of 2023. The many problems of TikTok. How the TikTok algorithm fails to protect users from harmful content. TikTok's algorithm has long been criticized for leading users down a content rabbit hole, known as the For Your page. For example, if you're looking at half-naked underage girls dancing around in skimpy clothing, somewhat like budget strippers, it's going to bring up similar videos again and again in its main feed. A recent investigation found children as young as eight were being groomed on TikTok. These pedos hide behind the safety of their screens, collecting lewd images of underage children. They don't even have to groom anyone to get them as TikTok is already filled with thousands of underage girls. It has quite literally become a playground for pedophiles. TikTok was sued for billions over use of children's data. The action aims to prevent ByteDance and TikTok from continuing to illegally collect and process children's private information in this way without sufficient warning, transparency, or the necessary consent required by law, and without children or parents knowing what is being done with that information, and order TikTok to permanently delete children's personal data. TikTok's algorithm susses out users' interests and then serves them video after video catered to those interests. But things get dicey when they're indicating interests not in dogs or painting, but in depression or weight loss. If the algorithm realizes that what you engage with most is sad videos, your feed will become increasingly dark and depressing. If you are already depressed, you probably would linger on the sad videos, then it quickly swipes past videos about missing an ex about heartbreak and hurt feelings, and then watches one about emotional pain, which means you'll get sadder and sadder content. Your feed will be filled with the darkest corner of TikTok, including videos encouraging suicide. The hashtag what I eat in a day has more than 7 billion views on TikTok. Lauren Hemings, like almost a billion people around the world, she downloaded the app for entertainment. I felt that I could not eat anything without knowing how many calories it contained. There were a few months where I didn't put anything into my mouth that I had not weighed. I was no longer seeing funny dance videos or anything. After four months on TikTok, Lauren was diagnosed with an eating disorder. Many dangerous key words and terms such as those related to promoting EDs are on a block list and users also have the option to customize this by further limiting certain words. However, deliberate alternates or misspellings such as anorexia and eating disorder can bypass the ban on keywords deemed harmful. For instance, unhealthy eating habits and negative perception of body image. Even though TikTok users are purposely blocking certain hashtags and search terms, eating disorder-related content is still making its way to users' feeds. TikTok is being sued by the parents of children who died attempting a blackout challenge. 
At least seven kids under the age of 15 died in several countries while participating in the challenge in 2021, including in Italy, Australia, and the United States. The Chinese California-based video platform TikTok is facing several lawsuits over the challenge. Some lawsuits allege that kids weren't searching for challenges when they saw the videos. Egypt's Ministry of Education warned schools and teachers to watch out for students involved in any abnormal activities. Following the emergence of videos on TikTok showing students participating in the so-called blackout challenge, which involves participants holding their breath until they pass out. Eight-year-old Lalani Walton and nine-year-old Ariani Arroyo are two little girls who died after attempting the so-called blackout challenge in Los Angeles. Attorney Matthew Bergman, who is representing the families of Walton and Arroyo, is arguing that this was no coincidence. It cannot be coincidental that so many children, eight, nine, and 10 years old, have been confronted with this blackout challenge, he said. What is it about the design of an algorithm that connects children to this kind of dangerous content? TikTok's terms and conditions require users to be at least 13 years old. The app does disclose the dangers of using the app for adolescents, but Bergman believes the social network is not doing enough. So, what's your view? Is this kind of algorithm logical or worrying? The question is up to you. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all the latest videos. Hey, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.